Hi, Dr. Sassy here from Sassy Surgical, talking a little bit about polycystic ovarian syndrome, uh, what it means and what the treatments show nowadays with respect to metabolic surgery and the success of reversing PCOS. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you three important things that we've learned and things that you can do if you are troubled with PCOS right now and any of its features, including infertility. So first of all, what is PCOS? Many people describe it as kind of a conundrum because it's a little bit of a diagnostic dilemma. It has a number of features, but some of the worst of them have to do with the hormonal abnormalities that cause females to develop uh, androgenic side effects or what are called hirsutism, where they have uh, male pattern hair formation and most importantly is uh, impairments of normal ovulation and infertility. So this is obviously very troubling for somebody who wants to start a family or wants to get pregnant and can't, and oftentimes this is the problem. In addition, the feature of cysts of the ovaries are a common feature of it, although that's not the most critical feature of PCOS. Treatment for PCOS over the years has not been great, and if you've suffered with this problem, you know this already, that the doctors often kind of say, well, we don't have great treatments for it. We often use the drug metformin, uh, which is a drug to try to reduce blood sugar. Um, and that does have a little bit of effectiveness and it does also act as a bit of a preventive uh, tool to uh, keep people from uh, getting worse and preventing them from escalating on to type 2 diabetes. But it's not really a, a reversal treatment. Um, and diet and exercise and losing weight, of course, is always part of the treatment algorithm. But again, we know how hard that is to do, especially if somebody has put on 50 or more pounds over their ideal body weight. It's very hard genetically and biochemically to reverse that. Uh, because of the physiologic set point. Um, and so what about metabolic surgery? So this has been around for quite a long time and there have been quite a few studies over the years examining it. What's interesting lately is that there are quite a few very well organized studies that have been published recently in the surgical and medical journals showing a very high effectiveness of metabolic surgery in treating the worst aspects of PCOS, namely infertility and inability to conceive a child. So these studies show that among the people who were diagnosed with polycystic ovarian syndrome and then underwent metabolic surgery, in the neighborhood of 60 to 70 percent of those females were subsequently in the near term able to get pregnant and have a healthy baby. There are a whole bunch of reasons for this, but it uh, is sort of best to describe it as a, a series of hormonal changes that take place. We know that the stomach tissue that is removed in sleeve gastrectomy is very hormonally active and that it affects the biochemistry of the body in many ways. One of the most important ways is that it reverses the insulin resistance that goes along with PCOS and prediabetes and type 2 diabetes. And so that is just one feature of this hormonal change that takes place that really science is still trying to fully understand. But suffice it to say, for a lot of people, not only do they have this immediate hormonal change, which can result very favorably in changing the hormonal uh, reversal of hirsutism, uh, elimination of the ovarian cystic aspects, uh, improved ovulation, and improved fertility, but in addition to that, there is the weight loss that takes place. So as weight begins to fall, most women will drop below a weight threshold where ovulation begins to start again. And with normal ovulation, of course, becomes a return of fertility. So a lot of times, you know, some of the fertility doctors describe metabolic surgery as sort of the best kept secret of fertility treatment because it has such a high effectiveness. It is normally covered by most health plans, uh, insurance today for people who meet the BMI criteria uh, for having weight loss surgery. Um, certainly people in my shoes think that it ought to simply be a covered medical treatment for PCOS, uh, regardless of the kind of hoops that insurance plans make us jump through to get it. But suffice it to say, for a lot of people, it's, a, it's an available treatment that has a high effectiveness for polycystic ovarian syndrome, reversing the hirsutism, and delivering on the promise of, of uh, reversing the infertility so that most people are able to have uh, success and have a healthy baby. Um, so I hope that's been helpful. I think if you've been struggling with polycystic ovarian syndrome or you have a loved one is and you're trying to figure out, well, what's the next step to do, the three things that I would do immediately are do your own research, go right now and Google metabolic surgery and polycystic ovarian syndrome or metabolic surgery and infertility and look for yourself so that you can corroborate what I'm telling you. But next, what I would do is research the best, most experienced, most well-regarded bariatric surgeon or metabolic surgeon in your region and reach out to them for a consultation to talk this over and find out if that would be best for you. In our view, sleeve gastrectomy is the least invasive, simplest, safest, excellent treatment that has now been around for quite a while and has excellent results. 
uh, and it has a lot of reasons why it uh, is effective and has and it has the fewest side effects but you and your doctor might uh, discuss all of the procedures that are available out there and lastly I would say don't give up entirely on the idea of really redoubling your efforts at regular daily seven days a week of exercise uh, taking that metformin because that might have some beneficial effects um, and uh, steering your diet towards one that is lower in carbohydrates and emphasizes protein and vegetables uh, and see what headway you can make doing that as well. Uh, I hope those are very helpful tips. I hope that metabolic surgery is something that uh, might be of help to you if this, if this is uh, the problem that you're experiencing and I wish you the greatest luck and health.